So studying here helped me in a variety of ways. I think that the, the lesson time um, is really high and that was really good. Um, that's one of the most important things, um, studying anything, your contact with your principal study teacher. And that was amazing. There was a lot of other classes that actually are sort of a little bit more directly obvious in um, helping s me then sit into professional orchestra. For example, there's a lot of repertoire classes, um, that an ensemble classes that are sort of t sitting you down in a wooden section and teaching you how to actually play with each other. You're talking about intonation, you're talking about balance, you're talking about blending with flutes and oboes and clarinets and that, all that stuff is really important. There's a massive um, leaning towards chamber music in this place, um, which is really good. I think uh, playing chamber music is really, really good for you. Um, and the big obvious one is that I was given multiple opportunities to audition for apprenticeship and mentoring schemes with the professional orchestras. Um, and they just kind of help you achieve the discipline that you need. Um, right from day one when I walked in this place, I was expected to turn up on time and have my parts prepared. Um, and that's exactly the kind of ethos that you need to have when you're going to a professional environment. So I won the Governor's Prize in 2007, which was a long time ago now, um, and I remember it really well. I remember um, a lot of pressure because I remember there was being a flute player who was adjudicator, and so I thought there was various different things I had to, to impress him. Um, I remember how much it meant to me, and I also remember how much it meant to me the year before when I didn't win it and how disappointed I was. So it's a big deal because standing up and giving a recital like that is really tough, and it's a fair far, far cry from what I actually do these days, day to day in the orchestra. So I've got a tremendous amount of respect for the students when they're delivering themselves through their programmes of music. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's sometimes very difficult to judge four people against each other who are all at incredibly high standard. Around the time that I was finishing up as a student, I was doing a fair amount of freelance work with the professional orchestras around town. Um, which is amazing experience, and, but it's also work because, you know, let's face it, we all need to pay rent. So that's really important. Um, and I was doing a bit of teaching and things. And, and as various jobs around the country or around the world, in fact, were coming up, I was applying for them and doing additions. So I went down to London um, maybe a few months after I finished studying, actually. Uh, it could have been a year after. Um, and did an audition for the RPO. Um, I was given a trial period, so I sort of visited the orchestra over a period of about a year and a half, maybe two years, um, after which they gave me the job, which was amazing, and I had to move down. So, um, But uh, in between all those visits, there was a lot of um, professional work that was going on up here. You know, I have to keep my life up here and not set my heart on that job too much, just in case it didn't work out, So, but it did. A highlight for me is definitely one of the principal conductor concerts. Um, so our principal conductor is Charles Dutois and his speciality, if you like, is um, the French repertoire, Ravel, Debussy, but also extending into Stravinsky Ballets. Um, and so we took um, the complete Daphnis and Chloe on tour um, a couple of years ago. And that playing that in Spain, I think, that was one of the really special concerts. That was amazing. We travel all around the world. There's amazing concerts here, there, and everywhere. But that, for me, was absolutely incredible. Really, really worth all the hard work.